YT Dub, YT Dub, YT Dub. Oh man, this intro is so cringe, but my name's TC, and let's get right into the news. Nah, fuck that. This is not going to be like a drama alert channel where I'm only going to just put strictly drama on this channel. I want it to be sort of a, a YouTube wrestling community news channel where I just talk about things that are happening in the community that I love. And I felt it was a good idea to have this series and update you guys on your favorite wrestling YouTube channels. This is the beta version. This is the debut episode of YTW news and it's all going to be dependent on you guys if you guys like this series and you guys like what you heard today or you like to be informed about important updates in the youtube wrestling community then go ahead and hit that thumbs up and show me you guys want more and i will continue to put this out but that's enough of that let's go ahead and get into our first topic today which involves the internet darlings event that's going to be held around wrestlemania weekend of next year so this particular event is going to be hosted by brian zane of wrestling with regret here on youtube and I know a lot of you guys are fans of his YouTube channel. Now, when Brian first made the announcement of a, a potential collaboration, the first two names that uh, he officially announced were the whole effing show here on YouTube and Adam from WhatCulture.com. So, I mean, those are some pretty pretty heavy hitters in this YouTube wrestling space. All right, so where did the drama come from? The drama came from a video that the whole effing show put out, and they were kind of like trying to hype up the event in their own way. Kevin, uh, the host there, was making some jokes along with his co-host about uh, what was going to happen, and here's a short clip of uh, one of their videos. Man, fleeties. This is going to be tough. I'm going to be just the innocent bystander watching you and Adam, the two uh, alphas, battle it out. What's going to happen in Orlando? There will be a WrestleMania, sure. There'll be a WrestleCon, sure. But what will happen at this internet darling show? Who knows? Yeah, you're an innocent bystander. I'm a criminal. Look it up. Domestic violence with substantial bodily harm. This isn't some bit. I broke a girl's collarbone. What am I going to do to this girl's collarbone, motherfucker? All right, also in this clip, what you guys did not see is that uh, Brian actually reached out to the whole effing show and is kind of like, hey, guys, why don't you kind of like tone down the threats of violence towards blood culture and everything? And, and the guys at the whole effing show kind of just like made light of the whole situation and, you know, just kept doing what they do. And in light of this new video, Brian actually made a follow-up video uh, with a new announcement. I'm going to go ahead and play a small clip here. Well, what an interesting few hours it's been. As a lot of you might already know, I recently announced that the whole effing show will not be taking part in my upcoming event, The Internet Darlings Live, Saturday, April 1st in Orlando, Florida. Just to address any claims and rumors to the contrary, the decision to pull Kevin and Ryan from the show was 100% mine. I wish I didn't have to make the choice, but there it is. And after this video, that's the last you'll hear me say anything about the whole effing show. So Twitter became World War III after this video, uh, the whole effing show was not happy. And uh, they went out and they started tweeting stuff, you know, and I'm actually going to show on the screen right now a couple tweets that they made in reaction to uh, being taken off the show. And, you know, they went at a couple different people here. They went at uh, Grimm, which uh, Grimm ended up being the replacement for the whole effing show uh, as a part of the Internet Darlings. And, I mean, this guy was pretty much uh, an innocent bystander in all this. I mean, he didn't really have anything to do with what was going on. And, I don't know, I just felt like this was an attack on Grimm that didn't even need to happen. And, um, but, yeah, you guys can see on the screen here some of the tweets that were... Uh, tweeted out by the whole effing show on Twitter and so they're obviously mad but uh, I want to hear about what you guys have to say about this whole situation um, I know if I'm playing devil's advocate here for the whole effing show a lot of their fans are probably like hey uh, Brian should have known that the whole effing show you know this is their type of content that's very vulgar it's very in your face pretty brash and overall crude humor I think the underlying reason that can be summed up here in terms of Brian's decision not to involve the whole effing show has to do with this tweet that he uh, tweeted out here it says my decision to drop uh, TWFS from the lineup was a biz decision I wanted us to all work together but it became clear that it couldn't happen and I think uh, Brian kind of wanted to have like a, a positive tone to the whole presentation and he just knew that if the whole effing show was going to be involved there was going to be some conflict there at the event or they were going to try to I don't know stir the pot or something like that but that's the only thing I can think of uh, only Brian knows the truth but go ahead and leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think and yeah that's it for that topic all right guys so moving on to topic two has to do with Sean's View Entertainment here on YouTube and I know a lot of you guys are subscribed to him and this was a weird one he was actually receiving death threats and you know just massive hate from a lot of people online claiming that he is a racist because of the backdrop that he was using in some of his videos I'm going to remove the backdrop 
so we can end the torment, so we can end the backlash, so we can end the animosity, so I can move on from this and focus on what matters. Because, yeah, I'll admit, all the comments, all the horrible slander, all the rubbish, all the garbage that was sent my way between the death threats and the antics and the emotion, my emotions got out of whack, I'll admit, I'll admit. And I had to take some time today to gather myself. I really did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the real Sean's view that I am for whites, I am for blacks, I am for any origin, any race, any color, the way you talk, the way you look, it doesn't matter. You guys are going to think it's ridiculous. And the backdrop itself is just a rug, probably purchased at like Walmart or Target or Kmart or something like that. And he was just being, you know, attacked by the IWC and being called a racist just because that backdrop has no black people on it, which, I mean, he didn't make the rug. I do not get all the hate that this guy is getting just for having a backdrop of white wrestlers uh, behind him while he's making a video. All right, guys, and on to our last topic, which really isn't a huge topic at all, but it's a huge deal for this guy because YT Wrestling Facts here on YouTube, and I know a lot of you guys are, are fans of his channel. I love this channel, uh, but he surpassed the 100,000 subscriber mark here on YouTube, and that is a big freaking deal because that is the first time that you get that. Uh, I forgot if it is it a, it's not the diamond you, uh, YouTube button, right? It's that silver play button from YouTube. So congratulations to you, YT Wrestling Facts. You definitely earned it, and yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed what you heard today, and you guys want to see more videos in, in terms of like this YouTube wrestling news series, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And also, um, you can also tweet at me any stories that you think uh, would be relevant for this series. And my Twitter handle is just at TC Epicomicast. And yeah, I've got some awesome video ideas coming out for you guys soon in terms of uh, booking a Sting return, which I don't think that guy's done. I think he's going to be back. But uh, anyway, yeah, so as always, keep theorizing geeks, and I will see you in the next video.